Good morning, Bill O'Reilly. Hey, guys. Thanks for having me in. Oh, it's great to have you back. Welcome back. It is a pleasure to have you, Bill. A pleasure. We missed the hell out of you oh, on man. Fox News. I can't tell you. You know, it, it does kind of it, it kind of sucks, Bill, when, you know, you, you're so used to watching you every night at 8 o'clock. You're doing, and I have no reason to suck up to you, by the way. You never even have me on the damn show. But I'm so used, so used to watching you 8 o'clock every single night, and you're gone, and it is a huge void. And I got to think there's a part of Bill Riley, of Bill O'Reilly that loves that, right? You love it, right? Well, not really. I mean, we're busy on BillOReilly.com. We do uh, a, a podcast at 7 o'clock Eastern Time every night. Um, it's got an extended talking points memo, but we've, we have guests. We've had McGurk on. Yes. Um, so I'm busy, but um, look, I appreciate the compliments. I'm glad you guys uh, thought what we did for 20 years and six months was worthy. Um, and now we'll see what happens uh, going forward. Very humble, Bill O'Reilly. Kicked the, the, the crap out of uh, CNN and MSNBC for 20 years. And uh, anyway, it's good to have you on this morning. I will say that. You were talking to Sean Hannity yesterday, uh, Bill, about maybe coming back. I mean, anything to that? Well, i am got to make a decision in the next month or so. We've had a lot of uh, offers and a lot of interest. Um, so I have to decide what I'm going to do, whether I'm going to take the BillOReilly.com to the studio, we could do that, whether I'm going to ally up with another big corporation, we could do that. Um, so i got to decide. I, you know, it, it's not an easy decision because there's so much hate. And yeah. That's the word, hate. That's you know? right. Um, and, you know, um, I've been attacked for 20 years. I'm tired of it. I've accomplished everything I really wanted to accomplish in television. There's really not a lot more. But I want to settle some scores. Um, so, and I think the country's headed in a bad direction right now, culturally. So, there, you know, I'll make the decision in the next uh, few weeks. You know, we agree with you, Bill, wholeheartedly, both of us. That was a hit job. We talked about it extensively. When it went down, uh, we think it's ridiculous that uh, it ended the way it did. But, you know, you talk about settling some scores, and eventually that's got to happen. It's kind of like O.J. O.J. told us for years that he was going to find the killer. So uh, we think you're innocent. You know you're innocent. Uh, you just said yesterday there's going to be a lot of stuff that comes out in the near future that's going to prove that. So is there a part of you that wants to get that done first before you make yes. your triumphant return? And we, try, and we started yesterday with the uh, expose on one of these women uh, who totally fabricated, you know, uh, stuff against me. Well, she was arrested and charged in Detroit with filing a false police report. Right. So we put that out. That's on BillOReilly.com. Newsmax.com broke the story. There's, and, and believe me, this one, that's just a tip. And then we put her tweets there and, and, and just read it. When you read it, you, that's just a start. Um, this thing was uh, very well organized. And then after they got through with me, they went right to Hannity and tried to do the same thing. But Hannity was smarter than O'Reilly. Hannity took it to the air, took it to the folks, which I should have done in hindsight. Um, but we thought we were going to be able to ride it out because the whole thing was so absurd. Um, you know, but that's life. And so we go forward. Well, speaking of the hit job, Bill, we'll get to uh, the Killing England, which is a great, great book. Another in the series of uh, killing books, Killing England, the brutal struggle for American independence. Uh, we'll get to that in a bit. But, uh, Bill, uh, uh, regarding the hit job, now uh, you mentioned uh, you mentioned some of these shady uh, websites, Media Matters, the Soros groups, et cetera. But uh, it started with the New York Times out of left field, a big spread. The other print outlets and mainstream media dutifully followed suit. But was there collusion in your mind with some of the mainstream media figures, including that uh, Matt Lauer that you talked to this morning? And so, I remember Good Morning America CNN segment after segment after segment over nothing. Yeah. Well, they wanted they wanted to destroy Fox News. Anybody who doesn't um, like the traditional conservative points of view, so they just ran when every accusation was a conviction. Every allegation was a conviction. But do you think it was? Do you think it was coordinated? Uh, no, I can't say it was coordinated, but we know uh, that groups like Media Matters, Color of Change, Bonner Group, all of them, we know they coordinate. Now, what the bleed over is into the media, right? I don't have that yet, um, but I can tell you this with certainty: they're not trying to find out what the truth is. 
they being the national media. Not on me, not on Trump, not on anything. All right? They're not trying to find the truth. We gave a lot of exculpatory information to the media. None of it was printed. And that thing yesterday with the arrest report on a woman, did you see pick up in the New York Times on that? Did Negative. you see oh, pick please. up hell, anywhere? Hell no. Please. No, we did talk no. about it here, but you, yeah, did we did. Not. We right. did, you didn't see it anywhere. You're you know, right. it, it, as despicable as what they did to you, Bill, you know, Roger Rails passes away. This was shocking to me that some of the same folks couldn't even muster one day of respect for the man after he died. So you ought to be sitting there going, um, again, and, and you were wronged here, but uh, was that really the, the epitome of gross? But even worse than that, Sid, even worse than that, were the attacks on his boy. Right. On his son. Yes. Yeah. All right? When he, you know, look. And that's why I say I have to really think about getting back into this swamp because of the hatred. And the hatred has now reached a level that we've never seen in this country. Never seen it before. No. And so, you know, when you're in this, when you're in this business and you know that 90% of the national media is trying to hurt you, mm. it's very daunting. Because I have, I have a family all right? And, and, and they have to go and bear this. Mm. And it's horrible. Horrible. Anybody with a brain knows that after Roger Ailes went down, there was a flood of lawsuits. They came from everywhere. Everybody knows that. Okay? And, and, so, and, and you don't provide any perspective on it at all? You take every allegation at face value? Ah, oh, it's just, it, no. it makes me sick. It's, it's not just laziness, it's, no, it's, it's vindictiveness, it's, hate. it's, 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 hate. it's, it's uh, willful uh, neglect to do their jobs. It's just, uh, they're very remiss on that count. And that hate that you spoke about was on display the other night at the Emmys. You see it all the time on the late night yep. shows. Yep. And, uh, and also, uh, you did an interview this morning, again, to bring this back up, with Matt Lauer, who gave a nauseating softball interview with Hillary Clinton, practically massaged her shoulders, but with you, he acted the part of a prosecutor cross-examining you. You're on there to promote your book, and it got very tense there, did it not? Well, I didn't mind that. I mean, I'm a tough guy. I do tough interviews. Lara wants to do a tough interview. That's fine. Uh, we posted it on BillOReilly.com for your listeners who didn't see it. Nice. I don't mind that. I mean, I'll answer the questions. Um, I, you know, I know Lara a long time. Um, he, he let me get my answers out, um, but... I told him what I told everybody. I said, you know, you have to be skeptical when people make allegations. They are not facts. And, and that's what these lawyers who bring these suits know. They can go in and they can accuse and they can get money for this. It's an industry. Not to say that all the claims are bogus. They're not. Some are legit and some are not. But allegations are not facts. And this is, and, but they are, if the media doesn't like you, they'll crucify you, yep. all right, because they have an agenda. They're not looking for the truth. Talking to Bill O'Reilly, the great Bill O'Reilly here on the Bernie and Sitcher. We're talking about agendas and truth and hate. We go right to the President of the United States. You know, I, I tweeted on uh, Facebook yesterday, uh, Bill, that uh, I think he does some idiotic things. We've had these discussions, you, me, and Bernard, on this show for, for a year and a half now. He does, you know, retweeting Hillary Clinton, get hit by a golf ball. It's stupid. He doesn't have to do that. But, but in the end, for people to be lining up all over the country, calling him a racist, an anti-Semite, a white supremacist, all this nonsense, I wonder, you know, what you went through was bad enough. Could you imagine going through that every single day and his family for four years? Is this guy going to last? Well, and Barack Obama took it, some of that, too. Remember that. So it's not just one way. But, uh, you know, and, and Trump lets it get to him. And, and you know, I, I sat back for um, six months and allowed my investigative team to do its job before I came out uh, this week because we do have the book. Um, but you, you raise an interesting question. The, it, the strategy is to wear Trump down and to marginalize him with independent voters who don't know anything, all right, so that the next time around he doesn't have a chance. That's the strategy. But you also mentioned white supremacists. Now, this ties right into killing England because the – I don't know whether you guys uh, noticed this or not, 
But this week, the Dallas School Board, the Dallas School Board, is now considering whether to rename high schools named after George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, and Benjamin Franklin. That means take their names off the school. Can you imagine this madness? Yeah. Can you imagine this? All right. So the the basic um, strategy from the far left is to rewrite American history, to demonize all of the founding fathers so we get a new constitution, because the one we have now is, quote, unquote, done by white supremacists. That's why you're uh-huh. seeing this. So what we do in Killing England is we tell you exactly who Washington, Jefferson, and Franklin were, and we don't sugarcoat it, because, you know, it's like every human being in totality, there's good and bad. And we tell you what the bad was, all right? So then you at least are armed with ammunition, and your local school board, you can say, this is crazy. And, you know, you're not going to take George Washington's name off the school. You're not going to knock down Thomas Jefferson's statue. These men were great men. Yes, they did bad things. But that's not our country. I'm telling you, if people don't wise up and start to mobilize on the local level, I mean, de Blasio is such an idiot. He doesn't even know. All right? He wants to take down <laughs> he Columbus doesn't. Circle. He's a coward. He wants to take down Grant's tomb. I mean, and this is a guy who honeymooned in Cuba, right. uh, who admires Fidel and Raul Castro. This is what we have leading New York City. This is a disgrace. And, and he delegates by co- creating a commission with all none other than Harry Belafonte on it. Uh, Harry Belafonte. Yeah. So he's right. going to hide behind the oh commission's recommendation. Uh, yeah, exactly right. And so, yeah, so, and then one more question uh, uh, on Trump, uh, Bill O'Reilly on the Bernie and Sid show. The book is Killing Eng- England. Excuse me. The reaction to Charlottesville was a, uh, a low for Trump. And, uh, you know, he condemned violence on both sides and people went crazy. Though he acquitted himself very well during the hurricanes. And uh, now at the, the U.N., it seems to be doing well. Overall, your assessment of President Trump's uh, administration, eight months into it, whatever it is now. Incomplete. Um, I think that he's been treated terribly by the press and unfairly, but he has brought some of that upon himself, and that has hurt him in his legislative agenda. Here's the Trump bottom line. He's got to get tax cuts passed for the working people. Has to. All right? If he doesn't, he's done as a, you know, it'll be a one-term and out. If he can get the tax cuts done, he can turn it around. He's got a new chief of staff, General Kelly, who's it had discipline. You haven't noticed a lot of leaks coming out of there. Uh, Trump has tamped it down a little bit, all right? But he's got to get that tax cut. That's everything right now for him. What about the wall? Yeah. I think the wall will be built in increments. I think he knows it. Uh, it's not going to be a Brownsville or San Diego situation. No. But there will be more security, and the border is more secure now that he's in office than it was under President Obama. Who's going to pay for it? it ain't going to be Mexico. <laughs> well, he's going to slap some tariffs on uh, Mexico. All yeah. right, so, that, for example, their trucks, when they come in, they'll have to pay a, a couple of more bucks for every crossing, and that money will go toward the wall, but Mexico's not going to formally write a check. You know, one more before we get to a comprehensive discussion about the book, Bill. I know you're a big sports fan like we are, a big Met fan. You're a giant fan, by the way? You know, I am, um, and it's hard to watch the Giants <laughs> and the Jets now. I feel bad. I feel bad because, you know, it, it, it's such a difficult arena. Um, it's, it's second to television news. <laughs> right. Um, but you've got to think ahead, you know, and, and there were signs last year that the Giants couldn't score. No doubt. And, and it's, uh, so, it's worse and this year. Upgrade. You know, Marshall is through. He, all right, uh, you know, he's a great receiver. He's over, it's over for him. All right, and the other the opposing teams know they don't have to double them. They can put their weakest linebacker on him, and he's not going to get open. And then Odell Beckham, with he's double teamed all over the place with a bum ankle, and your passing game is shot. Right. So no, I, don't, I don't. You know, look, I don't blame the offensive line so much because Eli's got nobody open, so he's holding a ball. How do you like you that? You sure you don't want to go to ESPN? Yeah. Which, which, by the way, is my next uh, comment Re- here, Bill. Re- is that... Replace Jamil Hill. <laughs> right. Well, that's it. It's one <laughs> thing Look, when I, Matt I Lauer... college football and semi-pro baseball, and I at one time was uh, thinking about sports casting, but I'm glad I didn't do it. Well, it's one thing, Bill, for CNN or Matt Lauer or these folks to hop all over Trump. You, you expect that. But getting back to the sports, when Jamel Hill, for example, once a blogger, now a TV personality, ESPN, goes out and says what she says on Twitter, and ESPN allows 
allows that to happen. But they suspend my friend Linda Cohn because she agreed with me that the way they treat the Colin Kaepernick story, Ray Rice, and other things is why their ratings are down. Uh, even ESPN here has been exposed and come up very, very lame during this Trump presidency. Yes? Yeah, it hurt. they hurt themselves. Um, you know, management is management. And if you have a left-wing cadre in there, um, which apparently uh, ESPN does, Disney's getting hurt. Um, but look, let's face it. I mean, you guys remember Monday Night Football and heyday, right? Yes. That was uh, an event. It was fun to watch. Howard Cosell, um, Don Meredith, yeah. and uh, Frank Howard Gibbard. Cows, uh, <laughs> you know, it's, I'm sorry, but, you know, it's not even in the same hemisphere no. now, these games and the way they, they produce the games and everything like that. So there's quality problems there. But there's certainly a left-wing ideological management that has hurt them. Uh, Bill O'Reilly on the phone here with Bernie and Sid. And the book is Killing England, The Brutal Struggle for American Independence. People have been salivating waiting for this book. Uh, the, the latest installment in a series of uh, killing books, uh, etc. Uh, Bill, you talk about Franklin, Ben Franklin, Thomas Jefferson. But George Washington in particular, flawed men did great things. He was a slave owner. But the valor and the deprivation and the leadership that he suffered through for the for for you know for the, to create this great country, I mean, people are pretty ignorant of what he went through and what what, what he accomplished. Yeah, that's the, mo the thing that surprised me the most. And I'm a former history teacher with a history degree from Marist College. Was how brave George Washington was, how courageous a man he was. But he was brutal too. And he had a temper, and he demanded that people call him His Excellency. Um, so. I wanted to paint, and Martin Dugard, the co-author, we both wanted to paint these vivid pictures of Thomas Jefferson, Benjamin Franklin. Benjamin Franklin could have been Hugh Hefner. I mean, he was yeah, unbelievable right. what the guy did. He was loved the ladies. And, and George Washington. So people know when you're discussing taking the statues down or changing the name to school, you've got to know who they really were. And Americans don't because they don't teach it in school anymore. So it's a compelling book. We have a chapter uh, anybody can read. Go to BillOReilly.com. You can read a chapter for free. And uh, I hope people go and check it out. Listen, are you booked uh, on any uh, BBC shows by any chance for this Killing England book? Yeah, I got invited <laughs> to speak at Oxford. Oh, nice. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you better watch it. Listen, but the Killing series is fantastic. You've read the books before, but you have to read Killing England, The Brutal Struggle for American Independence. Bill O'Reilly and BillOReilly.com is killing it. It's a great site. People miss Bill O'Reilly, but you can go there and get his take on, on just about everything, anything. It's a wonderful site. Bill, we, we, we love having you. Yes. We wish you all the best, we and uh, we hope you'll come back. Oh, we miss you, Bill. All right, we guys. Do. And I really appreciate you uh, having me in. Thanks a lot. Hey, thank you, Bill. C continued right. success. Thank you. Our pleasure. Killing England, folks. Check, go to Amazon.com right now. The, Killing England, the brutal struggle for American independence. You won't be sorry. Bill O'Reilly on the Bernie and Sid Show. We're coming right